What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome at the Ford Lommel Proving Grounds. As you can see they are in the process of repaving the oval, the high speed oval. So unfortunately we can't go on that today but we've got a couple of Ford F-150 Lightnings here. The fully electric pickup uh, which unfortunately are not going to be sold in Europe but they've got a couple F-150s here for us to test out. We've got a very cool experience planned for later as well. Oh, that is freaking chunky. Nice, all right. So we're off, little sneak peek. Oh, oh that is going to be fun. You guys know I'm a sucker for uh, US cars and pickups and stuff. So I am enjoying this. It's so weird. It's so freaking weird because you're expecting to hear like a V8 and feel the vibrations, but that is quite strange. So I actually know, I saw a video about this car, I think a few months ago. The front actually opens and you can like tailgate, so you can throw ice in there and throw a couple of beers in there and stuff like that. You can also hose it down. I think there are also power outlets in there, so you can basically power your power tools if you're like a construction worker. So as always with these US cars and especially pickups, they are so utilitarian and they find so many clever things to to make your life easier basically. I think they are really, really good at that. And I think they are a lot better at that than the European car manufacturers who always tend to focus on like things that don't really matter, like, you know, flashy displays and animations on your screen and stuff like that. I feel like the American cars focus more on things you are actually going to use and things that might actually come in handy. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> nice. It is actually freaking massive. More than 100 kilometers of test roads are on this Ford Proving Ground in Lommel, Belgium. It is absolutely gorgeous. So another lap, sport mode, full throttle. Now, I actually had a couple of minutes to find you guys some specs. And uh, apparently, it is actually not bad. So it's got a range of 240 miles, which is like 385 kilometers. Or if you have the extended battery, 512 kilometers, 320 miles, which is quite impressive, I have to say. Zero to 60 miles an hour, 4.1 claimed. So that is also pretty damn quick. The fastest accelerating F-150, I think. Power-wise, 580 horsepower and 775 foot-pounds of torque so <laughs> it's a pretty damn impressive car actually it, it, it really is i i was not expecting that I, I was expecting it to feel insanely heavy but it actually copes with the weight pretty well i mean <laughs> yeah it really does, and it feels freaking solid. It feels so sturdy. Bit of trail braking here. Get that nose in. <laughs> the steering feels nice as well. It feels heavy. It's, it's, it's got that Ford feel, it really does. You know, yes, it's heavy. Yes, it will push on, but not too bad, Ford. Not too bad. Oh, can you imagine having unlimited access to this place? I mean, I hope that one day, if the German Autobahn is no longer with us, I hope that we will be able to do something like this, you know? So you, you need a place to be able to extract everything from a car and you just can't do that on an open road you just can't and track driving is boring this is much more fun and it is much more of a test for the cars you know it's more of a real world test whenever we upload track content you guys really don't seem to care and i get that because who who cares <laughs> really who cares i mean you'd want to know how fast the car is around this track that would be interesting, right? Okay, so let's move on to the next part. Next up, we've got the all-new Ford E-Transit. 
And uh, we've got a couple of transit vans here to choose from. So we've got a blue one. So these are the lower ones, lower one. And then we've got three bigger ones. And we decided to take the most ridiculous one, which is the red tall one. So it is the biggest we could find. How many clowns fit in here? <laughs> there are a lot of clowns <laughs> that are in here. Hello? Oh, okay, look, power outlets. Cool. But this is, that is quite large actually. Hello. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, so let's Not go. that kind of van. Let's go for a drive. Oh, we've got electric seats. Fancy. Impressive. Big screen. I'm not sure what we're going to do, but uh, we will see. All I know is that this is an electric van. Let's find out what we are going to do with the e-transit. I actually think that this is the best way for electric cars right now. I, I always feel like they should have started with commercial transport, electrifying that first, you know, all the vans and the little trucks that have to go into towns to deliver goods. Uh, to deliver packages it would have made so much more sense to start with those uh, electrifying those cars those vans and trucks first because those are the most polluting ones in cities they drive a lot of kilometers or they cover a lot of distance so would have made a lot of sense to start with that but anyway we are here now e-transit following a mach e gt that is actually pretty nippy <laughs> Throttle response, not bad. So, handling wise, that is pretty good. Not sure what we have to do here. He didn't tell us anything. <laughs> <laughs> we just have to follow him. <laughs> we can do that quicker. Now I want you to go faster. Yeah, I will go faster, but I'm limited by our lead car. Pull a gap. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that is pretty impressive. It feels it feels quite flat. Flat. It, it's pretty tied down. Of course, you've got all those batteries in the floor, probably. Uh, so it's got a very, very low center of gravity, especially since up there is basically nothing. But cornering... That is actually pretty, pretty <laughs> impressive. This, this thing is freaking massive. It doesn't, it doesn't really lean that much. That is quite cool. See, this works. This is really a good way to improve a van. <laughs> Faster. That is seriously impressive. I was pushing it. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that is quite good for this big of a of a van. You don't need performance cars to have fun. No, That's it's better. Lesson. It's better not to have performance cars because you can just have fun with it and extract more from it than you would normally do. Hitting the apex in a, an electric transit van. Push him. Let's go. Flash the lights. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty small turning circle and then out of the corner, full throttle. Oh, little bumps here. Woo. This is so much faster than a regular van as well. I mean, it works so much better in, in like regular traffic. What's the range? 140 kilometers now with three quarters of a tank. So it is like city, yeah, exactly. city, yeah, city driving. We are catching the lightning. Come on, instructor. Full throttle. Ah. Oh. 
We did we did catch him. Now the Ranger Raptor. Ranger Raptor is up next. Target acquired. <laughs> there they come. <laughs> did they put like cup two tires on this thing? Yeah, I they mean did. They did. This is pretty impressive. But it's this track, it it's just fun with anything. You yeah. Can drive like a shopping trolley here. Okay, so Ford E Transit. I like it. I like it as well. It handles pretty well. We actually chose the biggest, tallest one, but even this passes the test. It is seriously impressive. And it is so much better to drive than a regular van. That is the thing. So onwards to the next, which is also an E Transit, I believe. in the F-150 Lightning, just hiding from the rain. And I just had a hot lap in this incredible thing. Look at this, the Ford Supervan, electric vehicle. The fourth Supervan actually, they made a few before even with a Formula One engine. And well, I thought I was unlucky because it started to rain after we drove with the E-Transit. Uh, of course, E-Transit, Supervan, you get the link. So I thought that I was unlucky, but then they came out with these rain tires and we were just going ahead. And I said to the driver, you know, grip is boring anyway. So go ahead and have some fun. And he, well, he delivered. He had a hydraulic handbrake even, and he started sliding all around. Uh, it was absolutely epic. So that Supervan is built by Start, a company that started out building like rally cars and now they do a lot of R&D for cars and aerospace even. So it is a very advanced company. And it's got four motors, a maximum horsepower output of 2000. They were running around a thousand today in the rain, but yesterday they peaked at 1900 horsepower. So the horsepower increases with the speed. So the faster you go, the more power you have available. And the thing is absolutely insane. It will do four wheel rolling burnouts. It is absolutely epic. We, we shot some amazing B-roll as well. So big thanks to Ford, even discovered that you can hide your gear lever and have like a little desk to put your laptop. This thing is freaking magic. 
I want one so bad, but more on that later. Ford has a couple of very cool EV cars available now, as you can see. So uh, yeah, big thanks for inviting us, had a blast. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video or this playlist. See you at the next one, bye.